Nick ta mère. Hi everyone, it's Frost. I hope you're all well. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to the Densho menu for Modern Warfare 3 and Warzone 3. This is currently the cheat with the most features you'll find on the market. Once you've downloaded the loader and followed all the steps in the guide, all you have to do is launch the software. At this stage, it will ask you to enter your key. It asks me if I want to use my previous key, so I say yes, then you wait. This cheat contains a spoofer and an AC blocker. Once you have this message, you can launch your game. Very importantly, you'll have to do exactly as I do, i.e. inject just after the splash screen. So all you have to do is hold down this window with your click. And when the splash screen disappears, simply press phone. So I hold down the click and we wait patently for the splash screen to disappear. And once it's gone, all I have to do is press phone and leave it at that. You just let it happen. Everything will happen automatically. You don't need to do a thing. And as you can already see in the background, the menu mode is launched. So once you've arrived in game to open the menu mode, simply press the insert key. So you can see that it's already there. We'll start with the I am bot category. You've got lots of options like I am bot type, lock on, silent aim, trigger bot, server silent I am target bone you can simply aim at the head the knees the torso it's all up to you it'll prioritize the aimbot on either the people closest to you or those closest to the crosshair i won't be able to go into all the features because there are so many and the i am bot is really configurable to your wishes for the visual it's very simple to activate it all you have to do is press this button and right on the preview, you'll be able to see what the SP will render. For example, if I activate the Escoleton, I'll see this. We'll see the name Health. And if you simply want to move the live bar to the right, you can. If you want to put the player's name at the bottom, it's really up to you to choose and assemble it as you see fit. So there you have it. You can really display all the information about the player. Put it on the side, above the life bar. It's completely customizable. For loot, it's simply ESP loot, so you just have to activate it. You'll see it in-game anyway. Screen, you also have lots of options like charms. You can customize your crosshair, FOV circle. This is simply the area in which the aimbot will be active. ESP vision, if you want to have your own heal bar like this, you can have it and move it wherever you like. In miscellaneous, you'll find all the fun options. For example, RGB UI, if you want to make your text purple, you can. You've got disable fog, disable shed shock. If for example, you want to set the FOV to two cents, you can. You've got force save, which lets you save all variant weapons in a single shot. For example, if I put on Luna and I want priceless camouflage, for example, this one, we do one and you do save all blueprint. Once you've done that, you go back to weapons, back to variants. You can see that the camouflage has been saved. I can go directly in game and that's been done on all weapons. There are still a lot of pages with silent aim for snipers, auto inspect. You also have unlock all and the last page configuration. If you've made your settings and don't want to lose them, you can save them and they'll restart automatically. If you want to change the color of the menu because you prefer, for example, red, all you have to do is primary color. It's red. You have the menu mode in red. You can also do random and it's the same for ESP. You can use random colors or any colors you like. I've really only shown you the essentials of the menu. There are still a huge number of options to discover. If you want to buy it, it'll be in the description. I'll say ciao and see you next time. Rate.
Fortuna. Largage tactique allié imminent. Nique ta mère. 